to ladies and gentlemen, you ever heard of BuzzFeed News? You know, that website that has quizzes asking, what kind of potato are you? <laughs> yeah, well, buckle up, because they're shutting down their newsroom. The ones. Once hailed as the pioneers of the internet news business, BuzzFeed even scored a Pulitzer Prize in 2021. Shows out having an identity crisis halfway through the life is not just for people. It's for digital businesses, too. Yeah. And speaking of identity crisis, let's not forget Vice News. They also decided to reorganize their news operations, cut jobs, and are nearing a possible $400 million acquisition. Talk about a midlife crisis, am I right? Twitch. So what's the deal with these digital media giants suddenly going down faster than a cat video going viral? Emily Bell, director of the Toast Center for Digital Journalism at Columbia University, says it's like they built an advertiser-supported business on a house of cards. And then social platforms come along and go, nah, man, the BuzzFeed and Vice might be dying. But they sure shook up the media landscape. They're pretty much like Michael Jackson's Thriller. They changed the game, but it's hard to follow that act. <laughs> went, and now smaller news operations are popping up with greater adaptability, just like each new variant of the coronavirus. So the linings in a weird, twisted way. Eh, and to it. It looks like the greatest legacy of BuzzFeed and Vice is forcing old media brands to modernize. They're like that annoying kid at school who got can finally update their wardrobe. <laughs> Kidding. Kind of. And just like that, we've seen the rise and fall of these online media giants. It's always an hour in the digital world. Or is it rush years? Anyway, it's been a roller coaster ride with these online news groups. And it won't be the same without awards this podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures. Here.